Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this video, we're going to be going over the lattice modifier. Ready? Let's go. Now, before we begin the lattice modifier, I want to show you I'm in the latest build of Blender 2.8. And they have now changed these icons down the side here. They've created these little icons they're calling glyphs, and they've put them down the side here. It's the same set that used to exist up here. It's just now over here, and there are these flat little cool little drawings. Okay? That's it. So, lattice. What is a lattice? A lattice is a really cool way of deforming your object by using a cage that surrounds it and you push and pull points and it deforms your entire mesh without you having to go into the mesh and go into edit and start actually modeling on it. So it's really cool for things like rigging, uh, muscles, pushing a golf ball through a garden hose, uh, a number of different things where you would want to deform your object at scene level or have your object pass through an area where it squishes and then comes out the other side and is normal again. So, that was a lot to say. <laughs> Let's jump in and I'll show you exactly what this thing does. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this cube and I'm going to go and add in a UV sphere and now I'm going to add in a lattice. And you can't see the lattice because it comes in at one meter. So let's just scale this guy up a little bit. And you see, here is my lattice. And just like any other object, you can hit tab and go in and you can grab these points and move them around. All right. But in order for this to work and operate on this guy, we have to use a modifier. So I'm going to select my sphere. I'm going to go over here to the little wrench modifier that used to be up here but is now over here. I'm going to go add modifier and I'm going to say lattice which lives right down here. Okay? Hit that. Boom. Now you just have to do one last thing. See it's red over here which means it's not really working. You have to go to the object and you can either go from the little drop down over here or the eyedropper tool and you just choose lattice or run out here with the eyedropper tool. Okay? Now, this is tied to this. So if I were to select this and hit tab and right click and drag, see that? It's deforming my object. So, what else can we do with this thing? Well, right now, I only have these eight points that I can use to deform this object. But I also have this new lattice icon that appears right here. So if I click that, I can change the resolution. All right. I can change my resolution of my lattice. And with more resolution comes tighter deformation areas. So for example, this one when I was pulling it before was changing this whole thing. Now it's just going to change that one little part. See how this whole little area here is still held strong, but this one is pulled? All right, that's because I have more points holding this thing in place while this one pulls out. So when you pull this, okay, this is kind of important, you click and you drag on these, and when you want to release it, you hit enter. That's the fast way to just have them stay, because if you, if you grab this and you pull, Okay, and then you click off it and let go, it, it snaps back. Okay, you could also click and drag with the right mouse button and right click and it'll stay too. Right click and drag and then left click to drop it or hit enter. Those both work. Okay, right click and drag, left click to drop it, or right click and drag, enter to drop it. Whichever hand you want to use, whichever thing you want to use, it's up to you. But they both work and they both drop that point. So you see that this object here is, in fact, deformed by our, our lattice, right? So if I hit tab and I get back out of my lattice and I select th this guy, you see, right, I'm going to move him. I'm going to move him down and you see he's still a perfect sphere. He's a perfect sphere until he enters his lattice modifier and then he changes 
And then he comes out the other end and he's still kind of normal, depending on where your lattice is and what it's doing. See that? Now you're pushing in. So your lattice deforms your object independently of you actually going in, hitting tab, and deforming your object on your own. So like I said, this is a good way to do uh, muscles or having an object pass through an area where it gets squished. For example, if I were to, uh, let me see here, I could go in and I could grab a few of these guys here. All right, I can scale this down. All right, kind of crunch them in. Okay, and now if I select this guy and I move him, see, he kind of goes through that lattice. Now there are other things we can do with the lattice too. We have the ability to select the lattice. Okay, we go up here and we say transform and we can bend, we can push, pull, randomize transform, we can go to sphere. All right, so we go, we click and we drag in here. Now we say to sphere, now we factor, okay, but once you start messing with this, it really doesn't work very well. So for that, you would need a new lattice. So you can always just get rid of a lattice if you don't like it, and see it snaps back to the sphere. So if I go add uh, lattice, all right, give it some resolution like 4, 4, and 4. All right, so for this, you have to select all of these. So I'm going to select all the points. Okay, then I go Lattice, Transform to Sphere, click, make the factor, it spherizes, which isn't really going to do much on this because it's a sphere, but you could see that anything in here is going to start transforming into a sphere. So, for example, let me add in uh, Suzanne, and now I will say Suzanne, okay, give her the modifier of Lattice. Choose the lattice, and now she's spherized. And when she moves out of there, see that? So on this side, she's kind of concave. On this side, she's convex, and she's just passing through that lattice. Okay, so the lattice is a great way to go in and distort your object without actually having to distort your object. And one last thing I want to show you with the lattice here is that you can select just parts of your object that you want to be affected by the lattice using vertex groups. So see I'm on the lattice modifier for Suzanne here and I don't have any vertex groups here so I click in here it's empty. But if I were to go in here okay hit tab go to vertex I'm gonna deselect everything by hitting control A then I'm gonna hit B on the keyboard and I'm gonna select a bunch of these guys on Suzanne's mouth I'm gonna hit control G Assign to group. Now I have a group. I hit group. Now watch this. Okay, Suzanne, when I hit tab, will not be. Most of this won't be affected. Only this area will. Watch this. See that the rest of her is normal. This area is affected, and you can say the strength of the effect. So that's normal, Suzanne, and that's Suzanne affected by our lattice. See that? So only that area now is getting affected by the lattice because you specified that group. You have that point group, that group affected. If I turned off that group, now she's all affected. If I turn that group back on, just that group is affected. So this is a very good way of controlling only, which, only the parts of the object you want controlled by a lattice. So like everything else, this just takes going in and playing. And I'll do one last time show you how this works okay I'm gonna delete this out alright we have Suzanne here so I'm gonna go this could be any object you have Go add lattice alright this comes in at two meters usually it'll come in at one meter for you but this remembers now so it's coming in at two meet two dot two seven meters alright so I go to Suzanne and I say I want a new a new lattice right so I say modifier lattice I choose the lattice, so this time I'll use the eyedropper tool. Go here, object, lattice. Okay. And now she's deformed by the lattice. So if I were to 
click the lattice, hit tab, click and drag, my lattice is now, defor is now deforming her. All right. And again, right click and drag these points, left click or hit enter to let go. And now if you click Suzanne, okay, you show Suzanne, here's the lattice. And you can add vertex groups again one last time. You hit tab, all right. You select a bunch of vertices that you want to be affected. You hit control G to group it. Say assign to new group. Group, and now I have, because I had a group in here before, you can choose any group you want. And now that will only be affected by the lattice. Okay, so only those points kind of in there will now be affected by the lattice. And the rest is not affected at all. So that's lattice in a nutshell. That's how it works. Go in and play with it. And like I said, if you want to start rigging characters later on and doing muscle deformations or you want to do some interesting effects work, lattices are really cool to let you do that at the scene level, if that makes sense. So go in and play with this, try this for yourself, and you'll see how cool this can be. All right, so hopefully you got something out of this. If you have questions, hit me up in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification so you know when I'm making more of these videos because I seem to be making a lot of these now. And... Go in and play. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.